Does this ever happen to your drill when it falls off something and it breaks the handle? Well, I found out they come, you can get cases from. So in this video, I will be showing you how to transfer. So this, I got this on Amazon. It comes just a case, no screws. So keep the screws with you guys. But you just have the old drill and the new drill. And also you have to transfer it from this to this. One thing you're gonna need is a, a T20, T10 for uh, taking the screws out and a, a Phillips head for taking this to transfer it. Now this doesn't come with any screws, so you're gonna have to keep the original drill. Don't take it apart until you have the case, you could just transfer everything. So you're gonna take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws, and then pull it apart. Alrighty guys, and then once all your screws are out, this should come apart, but be careful, there's a spring in uh, this part right here that keeps this in the positions that it needs to be for one, two, and three. So just be careful when you pull them apart, that spring stays in there. that uh, spring I told you about that holds uh, the one, two, and three speeds. There you go. And now, just to make this extremely simple, without taking that out or doing anything, you plop this one right where over everything. Don't push it together. Flip it over and just wiggle this other case off. Now this might fall off, that's fine. But now it's out of that case without having to mess with a lot of stuff. Now the pieces that will come fall out are these two. This is the reverse and forward and this is the, the different speeds. So you wanna make sure that goes right back where the trigger is. Make sure everything pressed down. Now this one, there's a thick end and a small end. So make sure you get the right ends. Now this spring you can see right here is this little nub here and there's also this groove here so the spring goes into the groove here and that little tab just presses it to make sure it's stable. I don't know if you guys can see this right there. Presses in and put this guy one thin and one large in so you can't really get them mixed up. And also these grooves right here go right where that spring is. That's what holds it. Punch it down, do some feel to stop. Put this that needs to go right there. And make sure everything fits kind of smoothly. This this guy will take a little adjustment that reverse and forward. Make sure you don't refound him too hard or he'll pop out of that little uh, groove. transfer. Make sure everything still moves. And now you can either check check it with the battery to make sure nothing got crosshaired or put the screws in and check it. switch take these stickers off and put on the new one 
However, they all come with slots to do so. And voila, there you go. And that's how you fix your drill for when it comes to fall off from like a roof or something. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, over here, I don't know if you could see it when I moved around, but over here, that is my straight pipe for my diesel. Because I told you I got a diesel, I did this vote, uh, or poll, and you guys would said you wanted me to do a diesel, my straight pipe, my diesel, and do a video on it. So that's air. I will do that in the future because I got a new diesel truck, and I hit a deer with it after like about a week I had it, and then I hit a deer. So now it's in the shop getting fixed. So when I get that back, I'll put the straight pipe on, and I will do a full video on it. And hopefully you guys like it. If you guys want to see that video, uh, subscribe. I have 800 plus videos on YouTube already. If you're interested in watching them, some I, I'm completely random videos. Alrighty, thanks for watching.